All right, so today what you need to do is um, you need to open up the microscope lab in Schoology's folder for today. Um, you need to watch this video before you um, complete this, um, this lab. So you know what you need to do. So first thing is you need to go to this website and um, I'm gonna explain these directions as I'm going through the website. But if you ever need to go back to the directions they're here on your Google Doc. All right, so you're gonna to go to this website. And the reason why we're doing this lab is because um, la uh, last week we took a look at the difference between types of cells, prokaryotic versus eukaryotic cells. And then last class, we took a look at what's inside of the cells, which are called organelles. And these are all different structures that help the cell to do specific jobs. Um, and so we focused on um, looking at eukaryotic cells that are in plants and animals. And that's what we're gonna be taking a look at today. We're gonna to use a microscope online to kind of see the different cells and hopefully see some organelles within them too. Um, so when you get onto this website, you're going to see um, something like this. And uh, at the bottom, you're gonna to have to maybe scroll down and when you scroll down, you'll see these five words. Um, and you might have to, if you need to um, zoom out, you might have to do that when, and, and you can click on this, um, the three dots that are right here and click on zoom out. But really you can scroll down. You're gonna click on the third word, um, which is explore. And when you click on that, you're gonna see certain things on your lab table. You're gonna see the microscope itself. You're gonna see um, some oils, lens paper and chem wipes. Um, and then you'll see this box, this gray box and anything that has like a, um, uh, a question mark on it, you can actually click on the question mark to get more information or maybe even to use it. So here we're gonna click on the question mark and we're gonna take a look at plant slides and then we're gonna look at plant cells. Now, when we did that, the slide over here, we put the slide on this black area called a stage. That's what holds the slide. And there's different types of magnification. So here are the different lenses. Um, if I click on 4X, that means whatever the image is on the slide, um, the lens is gonna zoom in four times more into it. So it makes the image look four times bigger, all right? If I click on 10X, you can see that the lens is moved and I'll do it again. Look at the, look at the um, lenses, it'll move to the different lenses so that um, um, it can magnify the image that much more. So if I clicked on 10X, that means it's zooming into the image and making it 10 times larger, all right? So anyways, let's click on 4X and you can't really see anything in the slide because we need to adjust and focus on it. So there's a knob on the microscope called the course adjustment knob. And if we go ahead and move it, take a look at the stage, the, the black part of the microscope right here, it moves up and down closer or further away from the lens. Now you're gonna have to move it until you see it is as clear as it can be. The fine adjustment knob is going to make only small changes and make it a little bit clearer. So make sure you go ahead and um, adjust it. And then the light is just showing you if you put a lot of light or not a lot, of, not as much light. Um, it um, it can make the image maybe darker or a little bit clearer. So here it seems like that's as clear as I can get it. What I'm going to have to do is um, screenshot my um, screen because I only want this little section um, to be shown on my Google Doc, all right? Now, if you are using a Dell laptop, take a look over here. If you're using a Dell laptop, you can um, watch this quick video on how to take a screenshot on Dell laptops. If you're using a Chromebook, it'll show you how to do that also. Um, if you're using a Windows um, a laptop that has Windows, this is actually probably the best way um, to take the screenshot because it's not going to take the whole screenshot. It's going to only let you choose what part of the screen you want to crop. Um, but I'm going to take a screenshot. And um, I'm going to just insert the image here. Now you should already have an image here, but I just kind of want to show you how it looks like. Now it looks like that. 
So what you can do is you can click on it and then you see there's a crop image right here. You can go ahead and click that and move the, um, move the, uh, what do you call it? The corners so that it can only focus on that particular area. Okay, and there you go. Now you see it's not as um, large. So really it would be best to use the snipping tool um, if you have a, um, you know, a Dell or a Chromebook, this is probably the easiest thing to do um, to make the, the image a little bit bigger, okay? But yeah, you can also, after you've cropped it, you can make it larger here in that way too, okay? But I wanna see what you're seeing and the different um, adjustments that you have. So that next, you're gonna go and do the same thing for 10X, the objective lens of 10X, 40X, and 100X. And if you see here, when you click on 10X, it's zooming in and making the image 10 times bigger, okay? So you may not have to um, move the cor uh, coarse focus adjustment. You might need to maybe move the fine adjustment a little bit. Um, and, then, and then, like I said, take a screenshot, do it for 40X. Okay, take a screenshot, make it as clear as you can get it to be, um, and then do 100x and so on, okay? Um, once you're done with that and putting it into these boxes, um, there may or may not be some questions here. Make sure you write in a different font color because I'm going to be taking off points if you're not following directions. Um, and then make sure you answer the questions that are there. Um, that's part one. Part two, instead of looking at uh, plant slides, you're looking at animal slides, particularly in whitefish. You're going to do the same thing. You know, take a picture of what you see under the different lenses and answer the question. Part three is you're going to look at either a spider leg or a spider and do the same thing. You're going to take snap um, screenshots and make sure you tell me, is it a, is it a spider or the spider leg? And then the last one is you're going to look at human slides, um, you know, cells that are in humans, and make sure you tell me what cells you're looking at, take pictures of them, and then answer the questions. All right.